everyone, welcome back to another episode of Hands on Science. Today, we're going to be making animal tracks. Have you ever wondered why one set of animal tracks that you find looks a lot different than another set of animal tracks that you find? Now this is because over thousands and thousands of years, each animal species has evolved to live and thrive in the environment from where they're from. So one animal species might be able to run really, really fast. Whereas another animal species might be able to climb to the top of the highest tree. And all animal species have evolved so that their feet can help them find, catch, and eat the food of their choice. But let's get started on our activity. So to start today's activity, I want you to first decide what animal track you would like to make. Then do an online search to figure out what it actually looks like. At this point, you can either print it off or draw it by hand onto a piece of paper, but make sure it's big enough so that you can easily cut it out. I chose two different animal tracks so that I can show you two different ways to do this activity. So once you have your animal track, draw an outline around it and cut that out. Then take that outline and trace it onto a piece of cardboard and then cut that out as well. Put that outline off to the side for now and we're going to focus on cutting out the individual pieces of the animal track. If your animal has claws, don't worry about cutting them out. When all your pieces are cut out, trace them onto a piece of cardboard. Preferably, it's best to use thick cardboard, but if you only have thin cardboard, that is okay. You'll just need to trace four or five sets of each part of the animal track and then glue them together. Now, if your animal has claws, just take a piece of cardboard and cut out some small pieces about the size of the actual animal's claw. Once everything is cut out and glued together if necessary, grab the outline we cut out first and glue the pieces of the animal track onto it with any type of glue that you have at home. Once they're glued on, leave them to dry for about 10 minutes. If you want, you can add a handle to your stamp with some cardboard, but it's not necessary. Once everything is dry, get out your paint and paintbrush and start painting. Make sure to put a lot of paint on so that it will transfer to the paper. Then grab a piece of paper and press your stamp down. Make sure you push down on all parts of the stamp so that it transfers evenly onto the paper. Then carefully pull your stamp away from the paper. Repeat this as many times as you would like. And don't forget to show off your beautiful artwork at the end. So here with me today, I actually have a few different replica animal tracks to show you. So the first one that I have is actually from a crow. Now, I know when I look at this animal track that it has to come from a bird that spends a lot of time on the ground. And this is because it has three toes pointing forwards, which helps the bird move really easily on land. But if I were to look at the foot of a woodpecker, I'd notice that there's two toes going forwards and there's two toes going backwards. And this is because it helps the bird move easily up and down the trunk of the tree. But if I were to look at the foot of an aquatic bird, like a duck, I'd notice that there's webbing in between their toes. Now this webbing acts similar to a paddle and helps them move really easily through the water. So the next animal track I have for you today is actually from a deer. Now animals such as deer, horses, and moose all have something called hooves. Now hooves are made of a material called keratin, which is actually what our fingernails are made out of. And just like our fingernails, they continue to grow every single day. And this is because as the animals are walking on the ground all day, it slowly gets worn down, so it has to regrow. So the last track I wanna to talk to you about today is probably the one you're actually most familiar with. And this is because most common household pets, such as cats and dogs, will leave these tracks behind them when they're walking. And that is paw prints. So the one that I'm holding up is actually from a fox. And if this was actually a foot of a fox, you would notice that there's a lot of fur in here. And that fur protects the pad of the paw from the extreme cold of winter and the extreme heat of summer. Now I actually have a second paw here with me today and you'll notice it looks a lot different. And that's because it's the footprint of a bear. Now what's really cool about bears is that their front foot is a lot different than their back foot. And this is actually very common within the animal kingdom. So, I bet you've been wondering what animal these tracks belong to. 
So if you take a look at the front foot of the animal, you'll notice that it helps them move really easily on land. But if you take a look at the back foot of the animal, you'll notice that it helps them move really easily through the water. So if you guessed that these animal tracks belong to a beaver, you'd be 100% correct. Great job. So that's it for today's episode of Hands-On Science. We hope you had fun making your own animal track stamp, and we hope to see you next time. Bye.